I'm happy to be joined today on Primetime Local News by Ricky Phillips from Styx. Ricky, it is so exciting to speak with you. I've been a fan of Styx for a long time, as well as the other groups that you have been in. Uh, and we're here today to talk about the new album release, Crash of the Crown. This is so exciting, Ricky. Tell me how this all came together. Well, it was basically uh, time to time to come up with something off the heels of the mission, which for us uh, did so well. We were thrilled with the way it was received and um, trying to stay sort of in keeping with the prog roots of Sticks and bring that out a little more. I have to uh, commend Tommy Shaw on that one because uh, it would have been easy for us to kick back on our laurels and do some nice glossy uh, singles. And uh, he really wanted to forge ahead and be a little bit more adventurous and uh, why not? So we uh, found a way to, to record. Todd did his drums from home. Um, I flew to Nashville. I put on the mask and the shield and went to Nashville and recorded my stuff. I wanted to be right there with Will Ivankovic, the producer face to face, um, because it's a big record. It's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of segues, different time signatures. It's, it's, uh, it's a big meal. <laughs> and so I wanted to be right there um, and be able to kind of bob and weave with whatever they wanted from me as far as uh, I'd worked on writing all the bass parts before I got there, but things always change when you're in the studio. Now it is, there does seem to be more common these days, Ricky, as you said, for artists to release singles. First of all, I guess, because it's easy and it's not like it used to be where, you know, you'd buy a full album, you'd read the liner notes, so you'd make almost an event of it. So yeah. is, is there any concern about how, a, you know, a 15 song album is going to be received in this time? Or do you know that you've got the fan base with sticks that uh, no matter what you guys do, it's going to be well received? I think there's no guarantees, but I do think that playing it safe at this point in the game, uh, how many more chances do, are we going to have? So we're trying to do something that makes us happy. And I think generally that pays well, pays off well. So um, so far, we're kind of surprised in seeing how the immediate response to this record seems to be uh, huge. It's, it's shocking because it is, it is, as I said, much more progressive all the way through than I believe any sticks records prior. So um, you're always taking a gamble, but you might as well be happy with what you've done whether you win or lose. And it looks like we're winning on this one. Um, I'm excited to get out and play it live. We all are. So how long did it take for this record to come together? Was it something that you guys had some of these songs already ready to go? Or was this all fresh from beginning to end? It's pretty fresh. There were bits. We always uh, pick up our phones and, and record something in our dressing rooms or little bits like that that happens all the time in the sticks world somebody's you can hear somebody singing something into their phone in the next room or playing the guitar part or whatever that's just the way we do it we've been we see each other more than we see our families until covid came along so at this point it was referring to little bits and ideas and weaving songs out of them lyrically um uh, Lawrence, who lives in Toronto, he, he would have to fly in and, and work with Tommy. Uh, JY, the same thing. Uh, Will is very had a big hand in, in the writing of, of various things on the record as well. So there, the way we did it was different. I wasn't really, I got the music that once it was sort of put together and, and was able to write all my parts from home. But then, as I said, I flew to Nashville to record it. But um, I'm, I'm happy we, we made the gamble. I, and I have to, again, pat Tommy Shaw on the back for, for deciding to let, let's go in some unexplored territory. Let's push this further than Sticks has gone in the prog side. And I think there's some fun stuff, big Sticks harmonies, all of the things that people look for are still there, but it's just a little bit more of a, it's a bigger meal. I think some of the songs, uh, in my opinion anyways, almost sound in some cases operatic. It's just great to see. It sounds like classic sticks and it's just a beautiful album front to back. And I know fans are gonna wanna get the chance to see you guys play this, which now it's obviously looking like as long as things stay the way that they are, you guys are actually gonna get to tour. So tell me about that. 
We're really excited about it. We're going to uh, go out here in a couple weeks. We're going to get together for a few days and <laughs> make sure we remember all the sticks material and go over that. And then uh, we we hit the road starting off in Florida, and um, we're going to do about a two and a half, three week run of shows. And we have it worked out. We're kind of going to stay sequestered. Our buses will have a couple buses, and then a crew will have a bus. Uh, then our truck driver. Everybody has to have their sh both their shots. Um, there's there's a template of how we're going to do this at first, and let's hope that it will change and loosen up. But at least we're going to stay safe and make sure that the people coming to see us stay safe as well. There's going to be all kinds of. I don't know exactly what all the things are the protocol, but um, it's it's been a ongoing conversation for at least six months pre preparing for this. Well, congratulations, Ricky. Like I said, this is a great album. I was lucky enough to get uh, to listen to it ahead of time. I know you've released one single. When can fans actually get the whole album and all of the songs? Uh, very soon. Uh, boy, I should know that release date, but it's very soon. I would say within within the next week or so. Um, it's yeah, it's exciting for us. It's it this response that we're already getting is it, and it's what you hope for. And so um, I hope that when the people come and, and hear some of these songs, we won't be playing a lot. We don't we don't want to, to drive people away with all new material. I always hated that myself. But we're going to make sure that all these shows have the whole span of, of sticks from beginning to to the present and tease you with a few few new ones. Well, Ricky, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it and good luck. And hopefully we'll see you in Canada here sometime soon. I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you.